Hi everybody, my name's Gary and welcome to the Outdoor POV. Could you do me a favour please and um, if you enjoy this movie please give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody else might like this movie then please share it and if you'd like to see more content from the Outdoor POV then please subscribe. Today I thought I'd come to Hartlepool Headland. Um, it's not a part of the area that I come to very often if I'm honest. Uh, it's a lovely little bit of coastline and the headland is quite nice too so I thought I'd come along run for a few miles and share it with you if there's anything that I think you might be interested in um, historically about the area then I will try and share it with you apologies if I get anything wrong or I miss anything out if I do you know please comment below I appreciate all the comments and the last thing I want to do is give anyone any wrong information so yeah please if I've got anything wrong please comment below it's um, a bit of sand and tarmac today so I'm going to go with road shoes so pop along to your local running store if you need any kit and advice I popped in Northern Runner just yesterday actually I picked up some Inji Injin GG socks with the kind of toe socks and I bought a new book uh, from a great athlete Charlie Spedding local to us a really really good runner a new book that he's got out and I think it's called Stop Feeding Us Lies so I'm looking forward to reading that over Christmas um, and that's it let's get going right so we're gonna head south to I know what it's known formally around here is the headland we're gonna go on uh, um, Steetly Pier I think it's called as you can see it's got a big gap in it <coughs> which uh, it's a bit of a shame actually it's going to be quite nice to go along there they're building some uh, houses to my right just past the sand dunes <coughs> They'd be wicked. I'd love to one day sat up there <coughs> or anywhere by the seaside. <laughs> I'm not particularly precious about this bit of coastline. But uh, yeah, anywhere by the seaside and sitting at my porridge and a cup of coffee in the morning, that'd be really nice. Good start of the day. It's also behind, I'm not going to go up there I don't feel comfortable filming in a cemetery but there's a quite a large cemetery up there oh my goodness uh, I think it dates back to 1856 and there's thousands and thousands of graves in there, burials in there <coughs> and there's also, which is quite interesting for this part of the world, there's a small section of it uh, dedicated to the Jewish community and um, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't know there was any real significance to this area for the Jewish community or there actually was a kind of large community that would kind of uh, warrant having a dedicated cemetery so oh my goodness me yeah if you know more information about that I really appreciate you reaching out below in the comments and let me know it's one thing I love about these little runs I do <clears throat> if I have time to kind of do a little bit of digging research you find out bits bits and bobs you, you don't kind of I don't have the time unfortunately to fully research these things but yeah just behind the sand dunes to our right really big cemetery and it's part of the uh, kind of east coast heritage trail maybe I'm not too sure of the exact words 
But that trail, wow, it stretches for miles. So if you ever have a lot of time on your hands, it's quite a nice place to come. And today, this is December. So what a day, eh? December in the northeast of England. <coughs> Shout out to one of my subscribers. Hopefully today when I get home, I'm gonna follow one of her YouTube videos. Oh my goodness, I'm blanking on a name now. Bend and Stretch with Sue, I think is the channel. Apologies if I've got it wrong. I'll put a link in the notes. <coughs> but as a runner, <coughs> I seem to do quite a few hours of wait during the week. Just at home with dumbbells, nothing too fancy. Basically, to keep me fit for running. <coughs> and for the most part, although at the moment I'm nursing a bad back but that's completely unrelated to running <coughs> and I'm nursing a cold which is probably related to running but anyway for the most part considering the amount of miles I put in when I'm kind of in the middle of training I stay injury free <coughs> but what I don't do is any kind of Pilates and stuff like that. <clears throat> so one thing what's been great about YouTube, which I never expected to happen, it kind of formed a mini community with creators who support your channel, you know, comment, watch your videos. So I thought it'd be a good idea to check out some of her videos, follow along some of the stretching and mobility stuff. <clears throat> but now, and see how we get along. So we good. So we're kind of coming to the residential part of the headland now, and um, probably jump up on the. And a tarmac section. <clears throat> Just got a few bits of paper with notes to jog my memory and bits and bobs. So I'm just going to walk for a second and uh, take a look, make sure I'm not missing anything I thought I was going to talk about. Oh yes, bird watching. Now, a great time of year, I think it's kind of spring and autumn. With all the sand dunes in this part of the beach. It's very, very popular with migrating birds. So, if that's your thing. And it never used to be my thing, but come next spring, I'll 100% be heading back down here with my camera. <coughs> I just kind of fundamentally enjoy being outside so it's not really a hardship for me to spend an hour or two with my camera and a cup of coffee <coughs> watching the birds
so yeah hurt my back I was at work bending down so I wasn't running I wasn't lifting anything sometimes that's kind of when you do some kind of short term injury if you just move too fast or do something unexpected <coughs> no I wasn't doing anything I was bending down but thought I knew it I had the shooting pain right up my back <coughs> so I had a couple of days off running which uh, I have to say it was quite nice and I'm not running with Rex because he just pull pull me about and although I seem to be okay to run I don't want the dog aggravating anything if I can help it <clears throat> well, it's very nice I probably I didn't realise they had such a smooth a bit of kind of tarmac to run along here Come down to do, you know, maybe over a mile long. And if that's the case, that's like ideal for interval sessions and stuff like that. <clears throat> you might get a little bit of protection from the wind. So we're coming up to eventually we'll get to a place called the Hugh Battery. There's a museum there. It's well worth yeah, it's well worth a visit. It's closed at the moment though due to COVID. You're really going to timestamp a lot of uh, videos where people are talking or referring to COVID. <clears throat> so in five years' time, hopefully, my goodness me, all these places will be open again. <clears throat> but all these videos are referring to COVID-19. <clears throat> I think I'll come back actually some of the other content I create so I do the POV stuff <coughs> and I do the occasional kit review <coughs> I've got a few ideas for other content I'd like to take a look at and I also do relaxation videos I'm still working out exactly how I want to do those but um, C is very popular it seems to be very therapeutic sometimes for, I've heard for a friend of mine said for say children maybe struggle to concentrate sound of the ocean I think it's that white noise but it's nothing that you can kind of really focus on I think I'll go up and then come back down This is a, a gun post.
see it, Hartlepool. Oh, please correct me again if I'm wrong. But it was the first arm um, part of mainland Britain to be attacked in the war. Out there to the to our left in the sea. <coughs> Some German warships or cruisers, whatever they were. But anyway, for 40 minutes or more, they battered this part of England. Killed over a hundred people, I think. Something like a thousand shells came down. It must have been absolutely terrifying. Luckily, I have no concept at all what that must be like. the Yorkshire coast ahead <coughs> from the wind farm it's nice it's quite hazy there's a little fisher boat <coughs> coming back in see the museum's here actually just to the top of this wall you can see that mast there outdoor and indoor exhibits well worth a visit I think got a nice stroll at the museum and some fish and chips too <coughs> like most places actually in the northeast at least they claim to have a really good fish and chip shop and I don't think the headlands is a, any different can't remember the name actually but they're really very ill It's just to the right, <clears throat> which is always handy to know, especially if you're a runner, my goodness. So yeah, I've never been into the, the fish and chip shop, <clears throat> but before I started the run, <clears throat> I saw it, and I saw a massive queue outside, which is... Always a good endorsement. That's the uh, War Memorial there, just ahead.
hopefully we can get along here right to see if we can, fingers crossed. Try not to fall over. There's somebody right on the end. I'm pretty sure that gate looks closed. I'll go along as far as I can. <coughs> so yeah, if you need the naval history, then I'll check out the the um, museum up there. Pardon me. And this brick wall kind of does exactly what it says. They got a there's a working harbour in Hartlepool, and this it's really can't do it, so that's not a problem. <coughs> but this will just kind of knock out any momentum. And the sea, so. <clears throat> but yeah, this would be another good spot for one of my movies. Relaxation movies. So they've gone over there. Oh, <laughs> they've got through. Unless they've got a key. Do not enter danger. I can't even see a gap. How the hell they've got it across there? I don't know. So back to the headlands. Let's see if I've forgotten anything. Don't think so. So we're going to just keep going but down the bottom of this. We won't go back up those steps. <coughs> Stay down the bottom. Yeah, I was quite uh, unmotivated to come out today. It's kind of week before Christmas, lots of jobs. Um, I went to visit my mother's, uh, not a grave, but a patch in the crematorium. So I kind of didn't really have mental energy for it. So we have Heart and Pool Headlands <laughs> Open Air Paddle and Pool. Luckily, there's no water in there. That would be absolutely freezing, obviously. I'd be cold every day of the year. Get back up. Hopefully, That's Hartley Pool ahead, kind of main section of Hartley Pool, the marina and stuff like that.
Come on. Let's go along here. Oh, you put a lifeboat over there. Can I go around it or do I have to? Is it a bit of a dead end? <clears throat> right, so we'll go back up these steps near the pot house pub <coughs> we should see we should see soon a statue of handicap Tiny cap is quite uh, famous in the north at least. Oh, it turns out worldwide too. <coughs> Let's just be careful going up the steps. Oh, there he is with tinsel on. Let's cross over. And There he is, yes, Randy Cap. He appeared as a comic strip in a comic strip in 1957, I think. Um, no, he did pretty well. He uh, <coughs> had a uh, theatre. He had a theatre show, so he made it to the stage and the big screen too. He had a TV series, so uh, the fella did pretty well for himself. <coughs> and he also. Um, a cartoon strip made it all over the world which was quite bizarre but anyway the artist sorry um, oh my goodness what's his name Reg Smy he was from the Headlands so this is where he let's go through here hopefully it's not a dead end sometimes this area is controlled well let's see hopefully we can get out <coughs> um so yeah, he, the guy Red Smythe, who created and drew him, lived in Hartlepool. So a lot of the scenes and buildings, etc. If you read the cartoon, you'd be <coughs> from this area. And there's Vera's Fish and Chip Shop, which had a massive queue out earlier. Now it's closed, which is a bit of a bit of a bummer. But there you go. Always another time. But yeah, he. Uh, it's quite funny, I was looking at some of the translations, some of them are quite obvious. The French was uh, André Chapeau, handicap, André Chapeau, that makes sense. In Italy, he was uh, Angelo Capello, so again, makes sense. <coughs> but the Germans had a completely different spin on this, and actually my daughter said, I was telling my wife about this earlier, my daughter said, oh my goodness me, what was the question? Is on eggheads or something, some kind of quiz master game show that we watch in England. But the Germans <laughs> call him Willy Wacker. Willy Wacker, I have no idea how they came up with that. <coughs> but yeah, that's a very funny translation. So that's it. So yeah, oh my goodness, there's the Covid 
1910 test, test center. <coughs> Just get my bearings. Oh yeah, there's a water pump too. Obviously you're not in use anymore. But it's quite nice. Uh, it's here, it's still here and it's not pulled down. It's not vandalized. Um, yeah, water pump. And we're going to finish our run at St. Hilda's Church. Which is this church here. <coughs> Now this church uh, is part of the, uh, I see a sign actually somewhere, oh my goodness, the way of the saints, the way of love, um, and there's lots of trails all around this area leading to and from Dome Cathedral. I mentioned it in one of other videos actually, and uh, this is the start or the finish, whichever way you do the trail, <coughs> of, I think this trail is called the Way of the Love. I'll run around and you might get a nicer view of the church. Turn around. Can't see any of the signs actually. So yes, St Hilda's Church. Hopefully you can see it. Hopefully all in all, the movie's about half an hour. <clears throat> I don't want them to be big epic productions, but let me know, you know, please, if you think yeah, we had like a, an hour long video, two hours, 20 minutes, just let me know, I'm pretty flexible. I run most days, <clears throat> so that's it. Um, about three and a half, four miles. I really enjoyed it, I hope you did too. Um, I always like sharing these places with you. And that's what I love about YouTube, it really makes the world, it really does make the world a bit smaller. So it's quite fantastic for that. Um, yeah, if you did like it, really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, and if you think somebody else would like it, then yeah, give it a share. And if you'd like to see more content from the outdoor POV, then hit that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate all the subscriptions and the comments and the likes. It really helps motivate me to get out and do more movies. Um, I think that's about it. You take care, everybody. If I get this out before Christmas, which maybe I won't. Um, anyway, happy Christmas. If I get it out before New Year, happy New Year and all the best for 2021. Like I say, take care. Thanks for watching. Try not to fall over. And I will see you all soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.